Hey y'all, um, a little bit different format than usual. Um, weren't planning to do any shows this week, but uh, something's kind of hit the web news and it's something that deserves to be talked on a little bit because it's directly related to something that all of us here at least care about, even if Sean Q. Public isn't paying attention to, and that is somebody new has joined the SOPA thing. Wikipedia is basically threatening a blank out. And there's pros and cons to this. It's a bit of a do two wrongs make a right because technically if Wikipedia does a blank out, then they would be taking action in support of a political action. Just something they claim, you know, they're an encyclopedia, they're an innocent bystander, they don't do anything like that. And that would make them, in effect, a political organization. We would all agree for a force for good, but technically it is a case of two wrongs make a right. However, there's that that's it's splitting hairs, and I'm gonna uh, explain in my opinion why. Uh, the simple fact is, if SOPA becomes law, then what SOPA effectively requires every single website to do is no one hundred percent that every single page on the site is in no way shape or form in violation of SOPA. If you are a site in which third party people completely beyond your control contribute content to the site that makes up pages that are on the site then you have no way one hundred percent to verify that. Which means any web page that was created pre-SOPA, as far as you know, is in violation of SOPA because you haven't yet verified that it isn't. Which means realistically, to be compliant with SOPA by the time SOPA is voted into law, every single web page that has content that was contributed by third parties Wikipedia is one of them. In preparation for being compliant with a new law, should just shut down all affected pages. Effectively a blank out. Um, so, doing it as a blank out is political. However, you have to be in compliance with the law. So, if Wikipedia, Google.com, YouTube.com, Facebook.com, Twitter.com, Ustream.com, Blip.tv, even Apple.com, because they have forms and they don't know what's in them. They haven't read every single form post. Same thing for Microsoft.com. Basically, every single website that has, that is based in the United States or has users who access their site from within the boundaries of the United States to be in compliance with SOPA they have to take down everything to know they're in compliance. Now they can play Russian Roulette and go well I hope all of our users obeyed a law that didn't exist when they were posting stuff. Yeah right. And, you know, it takes you like five minutes to find things that would violate SOAP on YouTube.com. So, you know, if YouTube.com wants to stay up, really what Google's going to have to do is, you know, like a week before, maybe a month before SOPA goes into law, take YouTube.com offline and go, we have our highly trained team of Google Knots sitting and watching because I can't scan them with a the computer because all you got to do is shift them like a half a degree and the computer can't tell that it's copyrighted work. So basically to protect YouTube.com you have to take YouTube.com offline and Wikipedia could take that stance. Sadly after it becomes law it's going to be all but impossible to get rid of it. It, it, it would be a 50 year uphill struggle. Usually I don't condone just blackmail like this but because in my honest opinion the majority of the public does not realize is you know it's stopping online piracy right you know in the true 
a uh, favor of naming bills, you know, it does the exact opposite of what it says it does. So, you know, if you find the baby killer bill, <laughs> that means it stops baby killing because it's not, or, or actually if it's, if it's the, yeah, if it's the stop baby killer bill, that would mean it's going to sacrifice babies. If it's the baby killer bill, then you probably want to vote for it because then that means we're going to stop the baby killing, but now your opponent can say you voted for baby killing, so it's a lose, lose. Welcome to DC. Um, <laughs> so, it, anyways, I've got entirely off topic there. I'm trying to keep this video very short. Um, so, do y'all think the blank out is a good idea? Uh, do you think it's them getting political? Um, the theoretical alternative universe I just proposed here of do you think it's wrong for every single website that would be affected by SOPA before SOPA becomes law to act as if SOPA is law and basically shut down? You know, would it be wrong for Google.com to return search results? We at Google.com have not finished curating these search results for SOPA violations, so we can't return results for this term at this time. You know, would, would that be a wrong stance for the dozens of companies, if not hundreds, that all of us use every day, who would be directly affected by SOPA, to just take the stance, it's going to become law, and we're going to be um, to get in compliance of it, as a way of throwing weight of going, well, since y'all people seem to think this is a good idea and you aren't writing your congressman to tell them to get a brain, we're, we're getting ready to be in compliance. Things aren't going to work for a while while we get ourselves in compliance because we've never vetted this stuff for this ever. So I want to hear everyone's feedback on that. Um, Really, sadly, as in my personal opinion, the only way to get the average user to realize just what that will do would be to break everything that it has the potential to break. You know, all the college students who go to Wikipedia to research their stuff, well, Wikipedia is not online because Wikipedia hasn't finished vetting that article yet. And really, human curation is the only way to know that you're not in violation. And given the potential penalty for being in violation on any level isn't you have to take the page down it's the whole site can be DNS blocked where you have to know what the site's IP was you had to think ahead of time boy I hope I know wikipedia.com's static IP address or if it's a dynamic site sharing an IP address I know the IP address slash extension I hope I know the DNS, original DNS settings ahead of time before they get blocked, and we don't think to do that right now. We only think about it after we lose Twitter.com, Facebook.com, Wikipedia.com. So, I've gotten along here. Everyone's feedback. Do you think the blank out's a good idea or not? Uh, it, it's really splitting hairs because blank outs may become necessary to be in compliance with SOPA. So do you think jumping the gun and doing blank outs ahead of time for political reasons to go stop this so we don't have to do blank outs, so we don't have to remove content? Yes, it's abuse. It's getting political, but it drives the point home pretty damn quick and makes Washington look as stupid as they actually are. Peace out all. Look forward to your feedback.